Welcome today to the Vaughn Henshaw broadcast. This is your evangelist, Brother Vaughn Henshaw. Our text is being lifted from Matthew 23, verse 13 today. We find there Jesus Christ publicly rebuking the religious leaders of his day as he says this. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourselves, neither do you allow them that are entering to go in. The Son of God had very scathing, harsh, intolerant, politically incorrect, and offensive words to the preachers, the religious leaders, the denominational leaders of his day, as the entirety of Matthew 23 clearly portrays. Jesus Christ rebuked the Pharisees on every possible occasion. Jesus Christ exposed the hypocrisy of the Sadducees, the Zealots, and the Essenes, and the Pharisees throughout the three and a half years of ministry on earth. That is the four denominations of Jesus' day, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Essenes, and the Zealots. Why did Jesus Christ make it a priority, make it a point, here in Matthew 23, to rebuke the religious denominational leaders of his day because of their pride? because of their hypocrisy, because of the, their traditions of men, and because of the doctrines of demons they taught. You see, these men thought they were serving the true God. They assumed they were doing the, the, the will of the Lord. They assumed that they were doing what God wanted them to do. They were highly respected and esteemed in their communities. They prayed, they fasted, they taught God's word, they tithed, and they never missed a Sabbath day of worship in the synagogue. But they were lost and on their way to hell. In our text here in verse 13, Jesus plainly says that the religious leaders were not on their way to heaven like they thought they were. Not only that, these robe-wearing, title-loving hypocrites blocked others from going to heaven also by their legalistic man-made doctrines and rules. Now, we're beginning to see why Jesus Christ was non-denominational. Listen to me, you preachers. Jesus Christ was not a Pharisee. No, he was not a Sadducee. He was not a Zealot. He did not belong to the Essene group. Jesus Christ was non-denominational. Why? Jesus never joined any of those groups, and there's a reason why. Jesus Christ stood against their philosophy, their doctrine, and their religion, and their traditions. Listen. Now, this is going to make some of you denominational preachers upset at Brother Hanshaw, but that's okay. I'm telling you the truth. Every denomination was birthed out of some sort of strife and division in the body of Christ. Every denomination teaches its own version of man-made doctrine. Every denomination is based upon some sort of spiritual pride. Every denomination is antichrist and satanic in nature. Satan is the author and the originator of every denomination known to man. Satan is the one who has effectively divided the body of Christ. And now... If a preacher is not in one of their denominational cliques, then that preacher of the gospel is not allowed or permitted to preach in one of their doubly dead, dry, religious denominational churches. And that, my friend, is not of the Lord. The modern-day church has silenced hundreds, if not thousands, of true men of God in this very manner. 
many preachers of the gospel who know the word of God, who are full of the Holy Ghost, who are called of God to preach the word, are not allowed into these denominational churches to preach because they're not carrying their credentials in that doubly dead, dry, satanic denomination. And that, my brother, is not of God. Men who have been called by God are silenced by these denominations. Men who are, who are anointed of the Holy Ghost to preach the gospel have been blackballed by denominational hierarchies, and that's not of God. Men who have a message burning in their bones to preach to this world have been sidelined by the modern-day denominations. And that is why America prefers a feel-good message over the true gospel message. You better listen to me. Every denomination twists and perverts God's word in some form or fashion. The Lord Jesus Christ did not, would not, and could not join one of those denominations in that day. Why? Because his ministry was to expose and rebuke those denominations just as true ministers are to do today like I'm doing here this morning. Preacher, listen to me. We are not here to go along to get along. We are not here to join a denomination. We're not here to carry a credential in our wallet of some denomination. We're not here to join a Sanhedrin. And you denominational leaders, listen to Brother Hanshaw. God is not in what you are doing. You have no right to say who preaches in a church. You are not doing the will of God. Every time you refuse to let a true preacher of the gospel into preaching your church, you are under the judgment of Almighty God. That's all the time we have today. May God bless you until we see you again. God bless you.